Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. This week's turning out to be a week of major revelation. We just covered the video with Black Lives Matter co-founders being exposed, funneling millions of dollars through the organization to various family members and other people associated. And then literally two days later, we get a huge revelation as more documents related to Hunter Biden have been released, which once again proves some points here. First off, that clearly there was a pay to play scheme here where crackhead no experience hunter biden was making a whole lot more millions than previously thought and secondly it proves that joe biden once again is on the record a proven liar another joe biden quote another joe biden clip isn't exactly aging well my son has not made money in terms of this thing about uh, what are you talking about china and this idea that Joe Biden didn't know what was going on is completely laughable. Once again, the dishonest, shady Biden crime family is being exposed. And of course, you know, that's exactly what we got to talk about here. And that's exactly what we got to do. Continue to expose another massive Democrat corruption scandal. We've got some stuff to get into. But of course, before we get into any of it, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, share the video as much as possible. We are still shadow banned by the YouTube algorithm hidden from non-subscribed viewers. And with that out of the way, let's roll the tape. All right folks so take a look at this piece from nbc news analysis of hunter biden's hard drive shows he and his firm took in about 11 million dollars from 2013 to 2018 and spent it fast from 2013 through 2018 hunter biden and his company brought in about 11 million dollars via his role as an attorney and board member with the ukrainian firm accused of bribery and his work with a chinese businessman who is now accused of fraud according to an nbc news analysis of a copy of hunter biden's hard drive and i cloud account, as well as documents released by Republicans in two Senate committees. The documents and the analysis, which don't show what he did to earn millions for his Chinese partners, raise questions about national security, business ethics, and potential legal exposure. In December 2020, Biden acknowledged in a statement that he was the subject of a federal investigation into his taxes. NBC News was the first to report that an ex-business partner had warned Biden that he should amend his tax returns to disclose $400,000 in income from a U. Ukrainian firm, Burisma. And isn't that convenient, folks? I mean, most of us are adults here. I know my analytics. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are business owners. When you own and operate a business, and when you generate income, whether it's a couple thousand dollars, tens of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands, or millions of dollars, there's one thing that we probably all do. We have to prove where money is coming from. You know, if I get a check from Google, or I do an ad sponsorship deal on the side, or I sell t-shirts, I have to have transaction invoices for every single thing that I do. And then you have to Prove to the government you have to have your accountant put everything in order to show where the money's coming from, showing that it's legitimate in order to declare it as legitimate income or profit in your company. And then when you have expenses, you have to have receipts for your expenses, proving that they are business expenses. Once again, you have to have an invoice. The transaction has to make sense. Otherwise, well, it's illegal. But just like Black Lives Matter, and just like we're seeing with Mr. Hunter Biden here, it seems as though he just brings in a million dollars, and I'm assuming it's probably for consultation purposes. Hunter Biden, the lawyer, the crackhead lawyer, I can't think of the work that he could have been doing. I mean, clearly he wasn't working as a lawyer in the courts, wasn't representing any clients. He just happened to be on boards and happened to be providing consultation while going on his crack-fueled benders across the globe, and somehow he's generating $11 million via his role as an attorney and board member. Yeah, that seems a little bit fishy to me, and it's even more fishy. The documents and the analysis, which don't show what he did to to earn millions from his Chinese partners, raise questions about national security, business ethics, and potential legal exposure. So he's just billing people millions upon millions of dollars with no legitimate reason, with no service rendered. I did this and therefore I was paid this. For instance, let's say you're a finance expert or a lawyer and you're doing work in mergers and acquisitions. You have two companies coming together, merging ones, buying the other, and you're putting the whole deal together. We're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars, let's say billions of dollars, and then you get your small little fraction and you get a little cut, a commission on the deal, well then when you collect that income, you have proof that you did this work, you got a commission on the work that you did based on the deal as a whole, and it's provable income. Joe Biden is just like, hey IRS, my name's Joe Biden. I have friends in China who are sending me millions upon
upon millions of dollars because lawyer. But the question is, what did he do? And the only answer that we have right now is that Hunter Biden was giving access to the Obama government and access to his father, who was then sitting vice president. And that seems to be the only value that he brought to the table. And that is exactly what we see with Tony Bobulinski's confirmation of 10% to the big guy and his confirmation that Joe Biden was not only involved, but deeply involved in all of the matters and knew what was going on with all of the operations. And it's really not looking good for Sleepy Old Joe, or at least Sleepy Old Joe's not looking too hot right now, considering once again, he breached his trust with the American people. He is once again caught on another massive lie. Joe Biden claims, My son has not made money in terms of this thing about, uh, what are you talking about, China. He claims to have no understanding or no knowledge about his son's deals, which is laughable at best. And now we have the exact number for how much money Hunter Biden made in China specifically. Biden and China. Hunter Biden made $5.8 million, more than half of his total earnings from 2013 to 2018, from two deals with Chinese business interest. I mean, isn't that spectacular? Hunter Biden putting two deals together, which again, we don't even know what these deals are, but two little deals with Hunter Biden making nearly three million dollars on each deal oh how lovely it must be to be part of the biden crime family taking their access to the american government and making bank off of it these people use their government positions as atm machines like i was stating earlier you know the meme is constantly comparing people's government salaries to how much money they're actually making in real life nancy pelosi has been in government for i mean basically a lifetime at this point and throughout her government career she's made anywhere from 40 to fifty thousand dollars to now, let's say, $170,000 or $180,000 a year. And somehow, her and her stock-trading husband have managed to pump their net worth, estimated over $100 million, and I wouldn't be surprised if that's a low estimation. She's not the only one. I mean, there are countless politicians doing the exact same thing, Joe Biden being one of them. Joe Biden entering the world of politics, I believe, in the 1970s, if I'm not mistaken. Once again, with a very modest government salary of about $40,000 a year back then, a very similar income history to Hillary Clinton, which then somehow leads to Biden made almost $16 million in two years after leaving the White House tax returns show. Somehow after Joe Biden's time as vice president, he goes out into the private sector and makes $8 million a year. Once again, doing what? What value and what product is Joe Biden presenting to the American consumer? It seems to me as if it's nothing but another money laundering scheme. With all of these millions of dollars being funneled to these politicians through foreign entities and foreign and domestic lobbyists. But we have another bombshell massive story showing that Joe Biden's a liar and showing just how big this whole Hunter Biden pay for play scheme was. Another massive potential government corruption scandal. The two biggest corruption scandals now being Hillary Clinton's Russiagate and probably the Hunter Biden laptop story. And the question is, where is the left wing media? Let me show you guys just how disgusting the mainstream media in the Western world is. The story should be that Hunter Biden mysteriously and magically makes six million dollars from corrupt Chinese businessman after father Joe Biden claims Hunter never made money in China, but instead, this is the story that the Washington Post is running with. A look at the time Tucker Carlson asked Hunter Biden for a favor. Tucker Carlson once asked for a favor from a well-connected Washington friend who had an even better connected father. My look at the relationship between Tucker Carlson and Hunter Biden. How is that the story? Allegedly in 2014, Tucker Carlson reached out to Hunter Biden to help his son get a leg up in an application at Georgetown University back in 2014 and somehow that's the story that the liberal media is running with absolutely disgusting stuff folks and you could pretty much make your own opinions from there that's basically the update that I got for you guys more corruption from the Biden crime family and like I keep saying in these videos in terms of accountability and investigations the moment Republicans take over the house in 2022 top priority top of the list there should be clear transparent honest investigations into the Clintons and into the Bidens because that's that would be the only way to gain even a little bit, a fraction of trust that's been lost in the American government and federal agencies. But of course, that might be a pipe dream. That's what I got for you guys, though. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe. I'm going to get back to work. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.